Hello, Cubbies. Today, we're going to do hug number 22. Let's start by saying our verse. Psalm 37, 7. Ready? Psalm 37, 7. For God is the king of all the earth. One more time. Psalm 47, 7. For God is the king of all the earth. Good job, cubbies. Let's call our friends and see what they're up to today at the farm. Ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Oh, hi, Cubby! You are back and you're excited and hopping around self. There must not be any tractors around here today, huh, Cubby? No! It... What do you have on your fur there, Cubby? Hmm, that's just a little bit of frosting Timothy's, from Timothy's birthday cake. It looks like you enjoyed the cake with your friends. Did you finally learn how to be kind to each other? I think so. We, yes, we were getting along better at the bakery. Granny told us about a story that made a cherry pie for Grandpa, because that was what he liked, even though cherry pie wasn't his favorite kind of dessert. She said, we need to treat others how we want to be treated. So when Timothy asked us all what we wanted to do next, and then Mia asked Timothy what he wanted to do next, and what happened? It turns out we all wanted to do the same thing. Eat the birthday cake. That's the first time that we all agreed on something the whole day. Well, that's a good start, I guess. Kobe, I'm sorry that me and I weren't nice to you and Timothy at the party. We should have done some things that Timothy wanted to do to make him feel happy for his birthday. That's okay. Timothy and I should have asked everyone what they wanted to do. But at least we had a happy ending. Yum, yum, yum. I can still taste that frosting on Grandma Lewis's makes the best birthday cakes ever. I'm so glad that you and your friends are starting to learn how to get along. We will see you next week, okay? Bye. 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 Well, that sure was a nice time at the farm. We're glad that Cubby and Lovey and Mia and Timothy were all starting to be kind to each other. Today, we are going to have a story from the Bible. And this story is from the Bible, which remember is God's word and God's word are always true. Today we're gonna to talk about that God is in charge. Let's remember back to some of the stories that we have had recently. We talked about a group of people called the Israelites and how they were traveling to a land that God told them about. But they weren't very happy because they were arguing and not sharing and they were also worshiping someone other than God. They were worshiping an idol like this golden calf. Well, God had told them that they had special rules called the Ten Commandments. And part of them were commandments or rules about how they should 
treat God and that God should be the only God. Worship only Him. And it also told them how they were to treat other people. They were supposed to be kind. But they wanted a king, so God gave them King Saul. After a while, King Saul did not find favor in God's eyes. He was not being a very good king and following God's rules. So Samuel went in search of a new king. He went to Jesse, who had many sons. And the sons came by, and God told Samuel, No, this is not the one I want to be the king. So after they had all gone by, Samuel asked, do you have any other sons? And Jesse said, yes, I do. He had one more son, the youngest of the brothers, David, and they anointed him to be king. But David was very young and he had to grow up. When he was younger, he was the one that took care of the sheep. And the Israelites um, were far away on, on a hillside, and there was a big battle going on. And David's father asked him to go take some bread and cheese to his brothers to eat and find out how they were doing. So when David got there, he saw someone on the hillside, a big giant who was mocking the Lord God. Who is going to come and defeat me, he said. All the people were afraid, and they did not want to come and fight this big giant, Goliath. But when David got there, he said, I will fight this giant. And so he took five small stones and put one in his sling, Around it went <clears throat> and up through the air and hit Goliath in the head. And Goliath fell to the ground. Well, we have another <clears throat> picture to show you. There are two kings in this picture. David was a good king, but he wasn't perfect. He sinned just like we do. But he tried to love and obey God all of his life. <clears throat> the Lord Jesus is the perfect king. He came as a baby to Mary and Joseph. The Lord Jesus was the great, 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 many, many great grandsons of King David. When Jesus grew up on earth, he loved God and everyone. Jesus obeyed every single one of God's commandments. He never sinned. He never disobeyed his mom and dad. He never lied or stole or said unkind words. He did everything else that God said to do. But you and I have done these things. And so, that is why Jesus had to die on the cross. The Israelites never thought their king would die on a cross. But, Jesus did die on the cross to become our Savior. Jesus died and came alive to save us. He rose from the dead, and he is the Savior. How is this little boy showing that he loves God? Maybe by praying to God? Reading the Bible? 
to find out what God says, that we should obey our parents, we should be kind to others. One very important way to obey God is to obey your parents. In the Bible, he tells us to obey our parents. You should also obey other grown-ups too, like cubby leaders, teachers, police officers, and even the pastor. Remember, God is in charge. We should obey him. Our verse, one more time. Can you help me say it this time? Psalm 47, 7. For God is the king of all the earth. That's right. We'll see you next time. Keep working on those verses. Say them every day. God is in charge.